Hi folks, Tim here again with timsglass.com, uh, covering our power tool series once again. Uh, incidentally, if you're new to our videos, this is all the NCCER core curriculum, and we're covering all these different power tools. You'll, if you're wondering why I'm not going more into depth, this is just an introduction to the tools. Some of our videos later on, we'll be using these tools to build some neat things, so stay with us. But today we're gonna to cover two different tools. We're gonna to cover the palm sanders or what they call an orbital sander because it spins around and it's round. Uh, and we're gonna cover a reciprocating saw, better known in the industry as a Sawzall. Sawzall was the first one to come out with it. So it's kind of a branding thing where everybody started calling them Sawzall, but actually you got a DeWalt and Porter cable over there and they're both reciprocating saws. But let's cover, we're gonna start off first of all with a standard orbital sander. Uh, you'll notice it's got a round disc. It's a loop and pile type setup. This is your loop and it's got a real, like a felt background on the sandpaper. And all you do is line up your holes with the holes on that. It's easier to do when you're young and you can see well and just Pop it on there and it's good to go. You'll notice on this particular one, I believe I had a 40 grit sandpaper. There's a 40 for you. You'll notice that the sand and, and the buffers that are used and put on this paper are very aggressive on a 40 grit. And the way sandpaper works, the lower the number, the more gritty the paper is. So that's a 40 grit. Uh, you come all the way down here to a 120 grit and you see it's, it's very fine. So what you do when you're sanding is you work your way up. So you want to start with an aggressive and then work your way up as far as the paper goes so that you can get it smoother and smoother and smoother. So if I wanted to try and sand this black off of this board, I wouldn't want to start with the 120. It's going to gook up the sandpaper real quick. So in this particular instance, we're going to go real aggressive. We're going to go with the 40 grit to start with, and then we'll take the battery operated one and I've already got a 120 grit on it and we'll smooth it up. So let's plug it up first. Incidentally, whenever you're plugging into an extension cord, okay, a couple things here. Get in the habit of tying this cord. And you do that, I don't wanna just plug it straight in because if I need to walk across the room with my tool, a lot of times I'm just gonna pull the power out. So you wanna take and put them together just like that and then you're gonna take the cord and just simply tie a knot, okay? Just a regular square knot. I'm gonna tie that knot, pull it snug, then I'm gonna plug it in. And the reason for that, if I drag that around the room, it's not gonna come unplugged. So just get in the habit of doing that whenever you're plugging something in. Okay, very simple tool, not a whole lot to it. You got a dust collector tray right here that snaps on. You just simply put it on and lock it on. It's good to go. I already showed you how to put the sandpaper on. Now it's just a matter of on and off, right? And this tool is just a great tool to use when you need to sand something down. So let's go ahead and sand some of this black off. <laughs> you could feel it but you can't of course it's a video but it's a rough it, it's it's not a real smooth finish and that's because of this 40 grit sandpaper it's not meant to give a real smooth finish so let's take the battery operator one that we've got the 20 or 120 it's a lot smoother of a paper i can actually start that and touch that to my hand it's not going to even hurt it so now we're going to take and make that a real smooth surface <laughs>
see how that just really smoothed it out, brought out the wood grain. I mean, it just made for a real pretty board. It's quite a transition from this to this. And that's what these orbital sanders are for. Okay, let's move on. That's the orbital sander. Next tool we're gonna to cover is the reciprocating saw. Like I said, in the industry, when you're out there, more than likely somebody's gonna call it a sawzall. All right, before you change the blades, make sure the power is disconnected, whether it's battery or cord. This particular one has got a, it's a, it's a real simple blade change. You can see you've got a little gear right here that all you do is push that button push it that way and the blade's gonna pop right out. Put your blade back in. You'll notice the blade's got a little spot. When I push that back, that's what's locking it in. There's a little gear that, or a little uh, steel rod that pokes in, pokes through that hole and holds that blade in place, okay? Let's plug it up. Well, actually, let's go on over it, okay? This saw, once again, very useful, used a whole lot in the construction business. Um, it's used primarily for demolition or if you mess something up. These blades are what they call bimetal blades, so they'll cut through wood, they'll cut through steel. If I need to cut nails, they'll cut right through nails like they're not even there. So it's a very aggressive saw, great for demolition work, great for if you mess up something, maybe you're framing a wall and you've got some studs out in the wrong place, you need to, it's better to cut the studs out than it is to beat them out. So use this saw appropriately according to whatever your needs are. All right, I'm gonna plug this up, same manner. And let's come over here. I've locked our material in place with the clamp uh, and we're just gonna cut off a little section for you. And I want you to know a couple of things. Whenever you use this saw, don't hold it back here. It's gonna start jerking you. Put it against the fence, okay? Always put this fence against your material. So I'm gonna put that against the material. And you see how it just cuts through that like it's not even there. Okay? Never hold this saw with one hand. I've been on job sites and seen people up there doing this very dangerous, okay? Always hold this with two hands. You hold this side with the throat, it's called the throat. Hold it with your left hand if you're right-handed, vice versa, okay? Depends on which handed you are, but you need to become comfortable with this tool. You're gonna use it a lot in construction trade. All right, now we're gonna take uh, the battery operator one, same thing. I'm gonna disconnect my battery before I change the blade, this particular, and these are just different. You can buy different lengths, different sizes. This is a metal cutting blade, and you can see it's got really, really fine teeth. So the more teeth it's got, the finer it's gonna cut, and this is for cutting metal. So I'm gonna put a metal cutting blade in here, and on this battery operator one, put out by DeWalt, you got, this is what holds your blade in place. So I'm gonna push that back, Slide my blade in, let it go. It's locked in place. That's simple, okay? Let's swap out and let's cut a little piece of steel so you can see how this works. I've just got a small piece of steel here that I'm gonna lock here into the vise. We're all set and ready to go. Let's put the battery in, all right? And it's ready to go. Same thing, put your Fence against the material. Cut right through the piece of steel. That's because of the blade. Learn to choose the proper blades. Learn to choose the proper tool on what you're doing. And that's it for today's lesson. Hope you got something out of it.